everyone. Welcome to the Dance Diaries. This is Carol. And I'm Kim. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us today, everyone. We have our special guest, Ilya Kolozov, who is here from Aida Dance Shoes. And we're so excited to talk with him all kinds of topics, including custom made shoes, trends, materials, and most importantly, the thousands of feet by which I think you have probably touched in your career. Hey, Ilya. Hey, hey. He's the president of Aida Dance Shoes USA and has over 12 years experience as a top custom shoe distributor to all the professionals and pro-ams in our ballroom community. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Uh, yep. And none of that is exaggerated. That's, um, that's me. Tell us a bit about you. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much for asking. It was not an intended or planned endeavor. Like most things, I fell into my lap. Funny enough, my parents met in ballroom dancing in St. Petersburg in Russia. So I think about that often, like I couldn't get away from dance. I was born because of dance. Yeah. And now I tie, and now I sell shoes and paying back, I guess. It's interesting. So anyway, I, I needed a job. I found a job at a shoe store, 17, worked there for a few years, got familiar with all the brands, kind of was able to assess which mm -hmm. one I liked the most. And my eyes landed on Aida. Um, I developed a relationship with the organizer. Uh, meaning the the owner of the event of the uh -huh. brand and reached out and he gave me a chance i lived in brooklyn at the time next to eugene katzman so i lucky you I, I, <laughs> Shout I, out. yeah it was a couple of blocks from my house so one day i just kind of wobbled in on rollerblades with a bag oh. of shoes and oh asked God. if anybody wants them and they were very taken aback by a person they've never seen of course they were sketched out but they saw what I had and um, they recognized that it's the real deal. And yeah, and they started buying. I made friends, developed relationships, figured things out, connected the dots and uh, started started this journey. But I'm not a dancer. I'm just a dude who saw an opportunity and uh, took advantage of it. Some, some really good questions that we thought our listeners might really uh, enjoy learning about. And one of them was about the collaborative process, Ilya, especially how it is that you collaborate with your pro dancers or your pro dancers and how you create a custom pair of shoes. And I was wondering if you could kind of walk me through the steps that you take um, in, in getting that accomplished. Yep. Sure. Great question. Uh, first and foremost, I I rush to establish rapport. Uh, people do business with who they like and people who are like them. Mm -hmm. uh, I use humor a lot in my salesmanship. I try to understand who who is in front of me, uh, what, what are their preferences, what's their background, <clears throat> what's their story. If I can connect with the person on an individual level or make them laugh, then they feel open. And when they're open, they can really share with me their needs, wants, and wounds. Uh, nobody really goes into dancing because they're happy. What mm -hmm. I discovered, most people get into dancing because they are looking to alleviate some sort of a pain, tragedy, or otherwise some event transpired. Yeah. Many join because they did a wedding dance. Some join because their spouse passed away. But one way or the other, nobody just enters the dance world and to find out how and why an individual joined is crucial in my salesmanship process because as soon as a client potential client realizes that i really care and i'm really listening that's it it's over <laughs> not in the sense that i i got him uh, the sale is made but the the relationship has been established and now we can actually start being cautious and do what needs to be done um, so what needs to be done is I, I must understand where's the person at in their journey as a dancer. Did they just mm -hmm. start? Have they been doing this for a while? If they just started, I ask more questions. Who is your teacher? What are you focusing on? A lot of people don't even know the difference between smooth and rhythm shoes. So there's a lot of gentle 
um, inqui- inquiries. Mm-hmm. You need to understand the person's competency level. Some people don't know what's the difference between a flare or slim helo, why they mm-hmm. exist. So I ask a bunch of questions and I'm getting uh, off topic. The mm-hmm. point is first I identify what does the person need. Right. So I, I assess their basic level of experience. So if they just started, I offer them a two and a half inch heel, maybe two inches. If they've been doing it for a while, like you, we can just go ahead and go into three inch right away. That's Kim and not me, right? <laughs> I sure. had, well, I yeah, used yeah. to dance, Ilya, I used to dance in a three inch shoe when I first started and I did for many years until uh, I had to come down due to an injury. I had to come down. We can talk about that, but I, you know, cause I am interested in why you would start someone at a three inch. Is it due to like, like, for example, for Kim, is that her experience level that would uh, drive her to a three inch shoe? Right. Great question. It has to do with um, energy exertion. So okay. when a dancer begins learning their routines and the basic dances, they have to develop muscle memory. It's easier to develop and focus on muscle memory on a lower heel. It stresses the foot less. It, it doesn't get tired as fast. Mm-hmm. But of course, it's not as sexy and appealing as a three inch heel. But some people don't even care about that. So well, Kim I does. Guess, I do too. I guess, but I, I guess I, I, I I've only still wear always it. danced in three inches. You know? Yeah. I guess it's like training wheels. I'm not. I'm not going to put anyone in a three and a half inch or a three inch heel if they just watched Dancing with the Stars and now they got oh, the mm-hmm. and they want to dance and they call me like, "Hey, I need shoes. I want the highest heel possible." I'll be like, "No, you do not. You don't know what you're asking for." Mm-hmm. But I'd love to guide you through it. So I assess the person's level. Then I offer them a heel height. Then, of course, I ask them to do something what's called a tracing. We use centimeters in AIDA, which makes so much more sense than other brands. A centimeter doesn't know gender or age. Mm-hmm. Whatever your foot is in centimeters, that's your shoe size in AIDA. So, Carol, you look like you're about 24 and a half centimeters. I can just tell by your eyes. That's about seven and a half US. Hey, can- he's so right on. That's give fantastic. Me, wow. Give me a 23 centimeters, which is about six US. and Sometimes I just play this game. I just guess people's shoe sizes. <laughs> is it based on bone structure or something? And yeah, it's based on height, uh, weight, and just yeah. proportional. Everything right. just kind of. And, you're, and he's he's spot on. Yeah. I guesstimate. <laughs> no, but you do. I mean, you're an expert in this, you know, I can mm-hmm. see. So, yeah. yeah. One of the things about Aida shoes is that I have a larger um, toe box, you know, like oh, a little yeah. bit wider up in the front. And so they don't, you know, squeeze those toes. And so um, Ilya crafted a shoe for me, you know, that has a has a wider toe. He, they, so you had a custom made shoe um, for you, right? And you told me that you have a shoe named after you. Is that right, Kim? It's the Kimmy. I love it. It is the Kimmy. But- and we, we that, that's, a, that's a cute little story. We were just on the phone one night. I was mm-hmm. ordering shoes. And um, we were just talking, I don't know, I think we were talking about um, mentors, like in the dance world, you know, and I'm like, hey, I want to know, right? I don't know if you remember this conversation all those years ago. I'm like, hey, I don't know how a person gets a shoe named after them. I realized that they're pros, blah, 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 blah. I was just going on and on and on. I'm like, and Karina has one and blah, blah. And he goes, you want a shoe named after you? Done. (laughs) <laughs> and then there I go in the brochure. It's right next to Karina. That 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 brings us to another point of my salesmanship. Mm-hmm. I make sure to make people feel special. Um, so I use a lot of empathy and actual talking to the person to understand who they are and what are they about. So Kimmy is all about significance. So I just gave it to her. Thank you. And you and I think at that point I had referred, I had earned it a little bit. I would totally. bought a lot bought a lot a lot of shoes I had referred a lot of people and so on and so forth so when I continue to do that and um, I have to share this quick little story with you I was just telling Carol in our in our pre-interview I was going to take all of my Aida shoes and you know spread them out all in my living room which is my podcast space right now (laughs) and just show you but there are so many that I was like screw this I'm not (laughs) It's too much work. I have so many and there's more in my in the trunk of my car. There's so many. 
and and you know yeah because they work they work for me a pair that i uh, purchased recently um was my smooth shoe because I'm doing American Smooth now, Ilya. So uh, I made sure to get a good smooth shoe from you. And um, it uh, the way that for when I've chosen that a little bit different than when I used to do my my Latin shoes um, was just making sure again at the foot base that there was enough room for and whether that's correct or not, this is me uh, making sure that there was enough room for it to have, um, you know, enough uh, ability to be able to control how it was going to dance around the dance floor. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but yeah, it uh, makes a lot of know. sense, and it, and it connects with what Kimmy said. Um, mm-hmm. So the tracing back to the tracing, tracing. also understand what width does the individual need. Okay, so Aida has seven different widths from triple narrow to triple wide. It's kind of phenomenal range. Wow. Didn't even know that. I learned something new just now. <clears throat> just now. No, but the, the wide part is it because that's not offered by a lot of people. I will say that it's straight up. I mean, for a person like me who has a, a little bit of a foot issue, that's part of an injury. I needed to have a wider foot base. I've even had to, I've gone to a podiatrist who said from now on, you need to wear wide shoes. And for someone like me who wants to have longevity in dancing, I do go looking for that. So that is a great uh, value point for uh, your offering. Absolutely. Absolutely, Ilya. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know, you change lives doing this, right? Dancers' lives, crafting the shoes. Mm-hmm. Good. I'm, I'm glad to be doing something that matters. The, the worst thing to be doing is wasting one's life doing some bullshit. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of care that goes into that. <laughs> yeah. um, and I just mm-hmm. want to let you know, I'm putting it out there that you, you have changed and transformed my dance life. So... Um, I, I encourage everyone to go to Aida Shoes and, and talk to Ilya because you will get yes. personalized, um, hands-on, um, compassionate um, help and experience, and you'll get the right shoe for your level, for your desire, for where you want to go, for your foot, for everything. We are so excited that you're here and so appreciative and honored to have you. So it's amazing work. It's so cool. Mm-hmm. I, I, I would love to support you in every way that I can.